Myeloma is a type of blood cancer. It's what's called a relapsing remitting cancer, which means that for periods of time, the myeloma goes into remission and patients can live a reasonably um, normal life. However, the myeloma will always come back and you'll then need a different treatment to see if you can get it under control. Ultimately, we want to find a cure. We want to consign myeloma to the history books. But until that time, we are here for everybody who um, has myeloma. And so we provide information, we provide support. The other thing that's very important for us is the research that we fund. And so we fund research into uh, the causes of myeloma, find out more about uh, the biological basis of myeloma, so that we can prevent it happening in the future. When you diagnose the condition, there's a lot goes on in your head and you could want to forward think about the what ifs, whereas gardening is very grounding. It's very much about um, being out in the soil um, and it's about the continuity of life, isn't it? So I think it helps you just be present in the moment. So the design is a very specific response to a patient who was diagnosed with myeloma. It's a beautiful bounty of foliage and flowers, of textures, of a hierarchy of canopies to form a delicate woodland garden through which you're able to process with a curvilinear path which allows you different views into a landscape which is emergent. This was a garden which was really about creating a platform within which the individual felt comfortable. They were on a very personal passage through the garden. And it was about enveloping and surrounding, giving that sense of comfort. And it's that that we started to extract from the conversations with both the myeloma charity, but also patients who have been diagnosed with myeloma, that it's, it's the sense of security that a garden brings. I feel great peace and joy. The time just really passes really very quickly. There's always something to do in a garden and you're creating those little spaces in different parts of the garden um, that mean something to you. But when I'm out there, the time just drifts. In designing the garden, I very much wanted it to be a garden of, of two parts, not two equal parts. The first is perhaps a representation of, of how we like to think of life, which is you know, relatively well orchestrated, well ordered, and in a straight line passage. But with a, something like a diagnosis of myeloma, we're suddenly knocked slightly off course or sent in a direction we hadn't anticipated. So there's a slip path through this formal border into a different space, the majority space. And that's the dappled shade woodland garden, the sort of perennial spring. Life is not linear, things always happen. So I suppose that's, for us, it's just we've had to um, deal with an illness, but other people have other things. So I think it's just about changing the, the horizons. So that the, the, the life you thought you were going to have um, is just different. But I don't feel it's any less than. So our garden at Chelsea is one of the high points of our 25th year. We can thank our amazing supporters by having them come and visit the garden. It's an opportunity also for us to thank all the amazing doctors and nurses who support our patients and who also support us as an organisation. For Myeloma to be given the opportunity to, to stand on Main Avenue at Chelsea and talk to gardeners about that particular condition, which of course for many is, is, is unknown, and to talk about the way in which people should be aware of the symptoms. Early diagnosis, of course, is, is hugely valuable. But beyond that, there's then an opportunity for people to become much more physically engaged. So to have the clinicians and those that are diagnosed standing on the garden, telling others about their experience. And then beyond that, the plants that are grown and find themselves exhibited at Chelsea go on to a sale where people can buy the plants all of the money going back to support the myeloma charity. Mm -hmm.